everybody my name is Anat and today I'm going to be showing you how to do procedures and loops in Lightbot. Let's get started. So as usual we get on to lightbot.com and here it says my connection is not private but that's okay. So we're going to go to high advanced and go to proceed to Lightbot. Again, you can change your character according to who you are. In my last video, we did the basics. So today we're going to do procedures and loops. Let's start with procedures. Let's start with level one. The robot says, you are doing great. You will need more than the main slot for these next puzzles, which is this one here. I know, maybe you can add commands to my new PROC1 slot. PROC1 is also known as procedures or functions. The P1 command tells me to run the commands in PROC1. When I see P1, I simply run all the commands in PROC1. Good luck. So here is our path that is the main so let's get started there so we have to go one two three spaces so we're going to put it in proc one and then we light up this blue square and then we turn right then we put in p1 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 three times the more you put in, the more P1s you put in, the more it goes. That was very easy. Let's go to the next level. This is level two. So you can see we're going to start with PROC 1 again. So we have to go one squared, then we have to turn left. Now let's play it. Whoops, we forgot to add proc one. Let's see if it works. Whoops. That was the wrong way. Let's try it again. Let's remove all these PROC 1s and the commands from PROC 1. So here we have to go forward, turn left, go forward again, turn right and then walk forward. So let's try that. Okay. Let's try it in PROC 1, a uh, walk forward and a turn right, another walk forward, and a turn left command. Now we have to put in a P1 command. Let's do it. Okay, let's add another P1. And another. And finally, a walk and a space. To light up the bulb. The robot says you are really getting the hang of using PROC1. So here is a tip. PROC1 is very useful for patterns of commands. You can reuse patterns in PROC1 by using many P1 commands just like we did in the other levels. Good luck! So here is our level. We have to put one, two, 
three walk commands in PROC1 and a light command. And then we have to put in a turn left command. Let's try it out. Whoops, I forgot to put PROC1 again. Oh no. There we go, that's better. Good, it works perfectly. Let's continue. We have to jump up and turn right. Ooh, I mean left. That's better. Now we're going to remove the turn left command from PROC1. <laughs> but it didn't work. Okay, that's better. Now let's put in a jump command. Good. We add a turn left command. And a P1 command. Finally, we have to put in a turn right command a jump command, a turn right command again, and a P1 command. Confusing, huh? Yes, we completed the level. Let's continue. Okay, so this is level 4. The P2 command tells me to run the command in PROC2. Again. Bonus hint, you can use P2 in PROC1. Good luck. So here is the main, the PROC1 and the PROC2. And here is our level. Remember, we have to light up all of the blue tiles. Let's start by adding PROC1. We have to go forward once, then click then light the bulb up, then go, f then go forward. Hey, that's wrong. I skipped two tiles. Let's start it again. Now we have to go forward, light up the tile, go forward, light up the tile, and count it. Go forward, light up the tile, go forward, light up the tile, go forward, light up the tile. And go forward and light up the tile again. There. Now we have to go back to the main one. And turn right. Works perfectly. Now let's add another walk command to the main. Good, good, good. Let's keep going. Now we have to add a turn right command. And again, we have to add P1 command. Because it's a pattern. There. Let's make it turn left, walk two spaces, and check it out. Wait, we should add another one. And finally, a P1 command. Perfect, we're all done. I didn't use the PROC2 command, but you can use it when you're playing Lightbot. Now that we've finished with procedures, we're going to start on loops. At the end, there, you can go to spritebox.com, but for now, let's do loops. Let's go to level 1. This is very easy. Time for another hint, said the robot. You can use the P1 command inside PROC1 to make a loop. When you use 
P1 inside PROC1, I run the PROC1 command again. Let's try it. So there's only one slot for the main, so we put in a P1 command. Now we have to move forward, light up the bulb, and put in a P1 command. That makes a loop. All done. This makes coding much easier. Now, you can see there's lots of steps, but this is also a pattern. First, we add a P1 command in the main slot. And in the PROC1, we add jump and light the tile and a P1 command to make a loop again. Done. Let's go on to the next level. It does look a bit tricky, but we can do it. First, let's put in a P1 command in the main slot. A walk, a light, a turn left command. A jump, a light, and a run. Whoops, looks like that's wrong. It's okay, we can try again. Okay. Hmm, looks like we need to turn first. There we go, that's better. Now we walk forward, jump down, and light the tile. We jump down and check it out. It works. Finally, we need to put in a PROC1 command to make a loop. That made a hard looking path so easy. Okay, first up we need to put in a P1 command in the main slot and start with the PROC1. A light command, a walk forward command, a turn left command and a forward command again. And then a P1 to make a loop. But looks like this is wrong. Whoops. It keeps going again and again and again. That's because it's a loop. Let's try again. First, we need to light up the tile, walk forward, turn left, walk forward, light up the tile, turn right, walk forward, and turn left. Don't worry, it's a P1 command. It wasn't entirely correct, but at least we finished it. Alright guys, that was the end of my video and I hope you've enjoyed it.